Kids Corner, helping your high schooler ace the new version of the SAT. No more number two pencils needed. Starting on Saturday, the SAT is going digital. There are also a number of other changes to tell you about. The test is shorter. It's now two hours long instead of three. In the math section, students can use a calculator the entire time. In the reading section, uh, the reading passages are shorter. So we spoke with a test prep expert at USF about the best way to prepare for the new test. He says students should download the practice test on the College Board's website. Go in there, familiarize myself with the interface, um, bring up the calculator, you know, use it, see if you like it better than your own personal calculator. Um, and there's some sample questions that you can take. The new test is aimed at making cheating harder and scoring easier. It comes at the time when more universities are requiring standardized tests again. Recently, Yale and Dartmouth announced they will require the test for admission.